The data in a variety of the formats, both the Teams and the Qualtrics data, as well as the webinars and workshops, varied slightly. So we went through a separate phase called data development, or develop the data to format, to figure out process to bring the data together in a way that would make sense so we could analyze it. Nolan fills us in on the details. Yeah, so the first activity we had to do was to profile the data and to understand what each one of the data elements um, uh, were. And in order to do that, we would look through the different responses after we ran the macro and figure out where we had missing data elements. So some of the surveys had individual response IDs. They were uh, unique identifiers that identified um, that there was one partic particular person that answered that survey. Other surveys did not have that convention. So we had to create our own convention for some of the surveys that were missing that data. And in this case, we would create a kind of a pseudo unique identifier that would identify that it was a workshop question, that it was from 2019, and generally that we had a unique um, response to that question. This allowed us to create kind of a primary key or a unique identifier across the data. And if you can imagine that happening across each one of these different columns, we would identify if there was any missing data that was in the survey. Perhaps they didn't have a date. Perhaps they didn't have a file name that was um, following a convention. We would fix that data, um, consolidate that data, make sure that it, we, um, we had at least one element for each one of the surveys so we had a complete consolidated data source before we'd go through the activity of identifying what questions were similar and, and how we could collapse the questions.